Hey guys, and welcome to this quick Moi Meta review. My name is Max. I've been to more than 25 countries in the past two years. And here I am presenting to you Moi Meta, which is a hidden gem in the eSIM space. What's an eSIM? An eSIM is essentially an electronic SIM card. So you just take your phone, scan a QR code to add another data plan to your phone, which is super, super easy, super fast, often takes less than five minutes and it's really affordable. Especially cool about eSIMs is that it's a one-time payment. There's no contract behind it. It's impossible for you to incur any additional charges. But yeah, let's just like get into more Meta. There's two things which are really special about more Meta, and I think they are not talked about enough. First of all, they are very affordable. Quite often, more Meta has the best deals available for certain countries. And second of all, I think they are the best option when it comes to mighty country packages. Quite often, you will find packages on more Meta where you can just buy one eSIM but then actually using that one eSIM in multiple countries. Okay, I will just walk you through the process of how to purchase an eSIM, how to activate it, and then we can just do a speed test using Moving Meta. Okay, so let's head over to the website, movingmeta.com. We just select Thailand because, yeah, I'm based in Thailand. Then decide which eSIM to go for. I will just pick that package here, which is a 30-day eSIM coming with 15 gigabyte of data for just 10 US dollar. And the best thing is it's valid in Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia. So if you plan on traveling to two or more of these countries, this is a very, very good deal as you can just use one eSIM in multiple countries. After the purchase is completed, we just add another cellular plan to our phone and choose eSIM, then scan the QR code, wait for like two minutes. You do need a stable internet connection during that time. So it's better to purchase the eSIM before your trip when you have like stable internet connection in your home country or in a hotel, for example. It also does work with airport Wi-Fi, but you really need a stable internet connection in order to activate the eSIM. To my knowledge, you don't need to create a more Meta account or do any KYC uh, to sign up for an eSIM, but you do get a cashback of 10% if you do sign up for a more Meta account, which can then be used for purchase purchases of additional eSIMs later on. So it might be a good idea if you plan on using Moimeta in the future. And also, usually there's no KYC. For Moimeta, I just had to do KYC once. So I had to like upload a photo of my passport when I went to Hong Kong, which I think is because of the Hong Kong authorities requiring that. So once the eSIM is activated, we can just check out the internet speed. And actually, it seems to be quite solid. We are getting 46 megabit per second of download and 35 megabit per second of upload. That's on par with the internet speed in most first world countries. So no issues here. It's definitely fast enough to do all kinds of work on your phone and even to use it as a hotspot to work remotely. For those of you who intend to use Moimeta in the future, I would definitely recommend to also download the Moimeta app, which is available for Android or iOS. I use it myself. It's quite convenient in order to top up existing eSIMs. So you don't always need to scan a new car code. Instead, you can just head over to the app, select an existing eSIM, which is activated and installed on your phone and just top it up with a new data plan. Okay, that's everything about Moimeta. Just use the link down in the description below in order to sign up for Moimeta. I hope I can organize you a discount code, but just use the link down below. Thank you so much. Support